of Masayuki Ito, who was able to put down Christopher Diaz in the fourth round. Hold nice on, we're going to watch the brief replay. That was the difference in this fight. You know, Diaz hangs out of no man's land with his high high guard, put the earmuff deep, deep, defense on. It was this shot right here that put him down. It's like target practice. Watch like this. hitting the heavy bag. There it is again. And he gets dropped with a clean right hand. You see the knuckles going down for Ito. Something he's been working on. You see that punch. Wow. Beautiful extension with his shots right there. You know, you see not, Diaz trying to come back. Uh, Masayuki Ito is not um, known as a power puncher, but we have to go find the footage of his fights. First time fighting here in the States now, 24-1-1, one one, the new WBO 130-pound champion. Now, let me give you a little bit of history. This is the belt that Lomachenko vacated when he moved up, vacated after defeating Guillermo Rigondeaux and moved up to 135 pounds to fight uh, Jorge Linares for the WBA. Don't get it twisted. Loma would have wiped the floor with Masayuki Ito and likely Christopher Diaz would have been his mandatory, would have beat the shit out of him too. Excuse my language. No, don't excuse my language. I'm um, Tree Controversy. This is Tree Controversy. Let's listen to the cards. We consult the official scorecard to determine a winner. Judge Young scores it 116 to 111. Judge Taylor 117 to 110. And Judge Wallace scores it 118 to 109. To the winner, by way of unanimous decision, and now WBO Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Masayuki! I'm happy for him. He went on the road, wow. first time out of Japan. He wins the world title, joining only Billy Kahn and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. as fighters to win world titles with no amateur experience. No wow. amateur experience. <laughs> now, I had it 116, 111. They said that um, he started boxing when he was 18 years old. He used to hoop, he used to play basketball. And they said at 5'7, five 5'8, foot five foot he can dunk. Like, so I, I, I want to see some footage. I want to see some video. But shout out to Masayuki Ito. Um, look what he did to Christopher Diaz. Ah, let me see if we can get a little a close-up image. He fought by being, the mo by being more active and also using his strengths, which is his uh, height and, and reach. It's a funny interaction him and his trainer had, um, or his interim trainer. I forgot his name. This guy right here between the translator and manager of uh, Masayuki Ito. I believe he's the manager. I forgot this guy's name. Let's go look at it. I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Also, we're going to wait for the post-fight interview for uh, Masayuki Ito and listen to that. But more importantly, we have to talk about the 130-pound uh, division as a whole. This right here. Listen in. Listen. Listen to what I'm talking about. Let's say start snapping on him. Rudy Hernandez, Taro Dan. I've seen him like usually when Japanese fighters come over here. Is this talking, uh, taking, uh, how do you pronounce it? Tekken promote. You know, I, I believe this is the same dude. You know, he always usually with the Japanese fighters. I first um, saw him with uh, Yoshihiro Kam Kamaga Kamagai years back when he had fought who did he fight was it say he's a Karas or somebody when eli Sekback of all people asked him you know some shit about ninjas and samurais and he just was like offended like why would you ask us some shit like that <laughs> but you're going to see he's trying to is a language barrier rudy hernandez is trying to explain to ito listen turn over that right hand because they see that christopher diaz's eye is injured but just, just listen, just listen. Okay, okay. Okay. Win, okay. No, that's why I'm dying. Okay, talk. Talk, talk. Talk, guys. Talk. Talk, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You know, now, um, let's go talk about the 130 pound division. Let's see right here, right? 
Miguel Bertek, WBC. Javante Davis, now the WBA Super World. How is he the WBA Super World? You know, I don't know. If any, I mean, Alberto Machado was injured from my understanding, right? I talked to Alberto Machado back in December before I got sick, never uploaded the footage. You know, he was at the uh, Cotto, uh, uh press conference. His last fight, but he's um, co-promoted by Golden Boy and and um, Kodo Promotions. But you got Javante Davis, WBA Super Award, whether you you know like it or not, and you have um, Billy Dib and Tevin Former fighting this weekend on the third. By the way, I'm about 26 uh, hours or 27 hours late covering this fight because it was a busy day. Right now it is 101 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, July 30th, 2018. I'm teaching controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live, but this fight is taking place on ESPN Plus on July, no, August the 3rd, which is like three, four days from now. You see what I'm saying? And then you have Masayuki Ito, who's the WBO. Now, Masayuki Ito right now, he, because of politics, unless unless um, Top Rank has picked up an option on him or is going to sign him to an option, he has nothing promotionally or politically stopping him from fighting the winner of a Billy Dib or a uh, Tevin Former or a uh, Javante Davis, you know, a Berto Machado or a uh, Bercho. Bercho's mandatory is Miguel Roman. Miguel Roman has signed with Eddie Hearn, if I'm correct, right? I was at that press conference. Yeah, he signed with Eddie Hearn. Let me go check, man. Is that the same guy? Let me go check. I was at the damn press conference. That's him, WBC Mandatory. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. WBC Mandatory. Let's go back. I think this is his wife. I think this is his wife. You know, you got to be happy for stories like this, man. When they come on, when people come over here from any country. Oh, shit, let's listen. Um, Volume. <laughs> Well, unbelievable. Nobu Ikushima with a translation. Tim, you've been here before. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have. And you know what? I understand what he's feeling right now emotionally. He came, he had a plan, he had a goal, and he set out, and he actually accomplished and actually did it. He followed his corner's instructions okay. very well. He trained extremely hard for this fight, and he got the job done. That goes to show you that if you dream and you believe, and you have a plan, anything is possible tonight. Take care. Congratulations. Take care. Thank you very much. Hi. You made a promise yeah. to your wife and your children. Hi. What did you know that the, that the rest of us did not? Well, I believe my team and myself. Speak English. I believe my preparation was going to make this happen, and I believe that, and that's how I prepared, and that's what I came to do. And, and I believe that I'm going to be a world champion, and that's how I fought. At what point did you know you were going to win, and what were you thinking to yourself? When you knocked him down with that right hand. どの時点で自分がもうこれで勝てると思ったのとノックダウンを取った時はどう思いましたと一ラウンドやった時にしっかり自分の力が通用するって分かってあとはもう集中あともう必ず勝つっていう気持ちを途切らせないそして in the, in the first round I felt that my power was getting to him and I, I knew that I had to focus and I focused on it and I had to keep going now you said before the fight you felt that you came to America and it was going to be a fair opportunity. You won the fight on the judges' scorecard. How do you feel about that now? America is a fair and fair to give you a fair opportunity. Do you think it's fair? Well, I'm not sure if 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 I'm in, in my mind, I wasn't keeping score. I just wanted to knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. That's what I was going after. When you're in the ring with an opponent with 12 yeah. rounds like that, you know him maybe better than his mother knows him. You, you, both, have, you both have families. Yeah. 
you both made promises. What do you feel for him right now? え、もうお互いに家族に約束してこのリングに上がったんですけれども、彼に対して今あなたはどういう気持ちですかいや、もう本当にリスペクトできる相手、本当に素晴らしい選手、もう試合前から大好きだってずっと思ってたんで、本当
that's not cool you know like i understand like you know like for example like maybe with the mcgregor and shit you had to have showtime and all that shit and but you had so many you know media outlets that would be there covering it for a fight like this like y'all like what the fuck anyway i'm teacher controversy this is teacher controversy live please subscribe